Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another Instant Pot recipe video. I love making these videos. Using the Instant Pot is one of the biggest time savers for me as a busy mom. So I'm sharing some more really delicious recipes with you guys and I hope that you enjoy it. The first recipe that we are making in this video is Instant Pot Healthy Chicken Pot Pie Soup, but I promise you guys, it does not taste healthy. It is so warm and comforting and perfect for a cozy fall or winter night. The first thing that I'm doing is prepping the vegetables. So I'm starting by dicing one cup of onion. Next, I'm dicing three carrots, which equaled about one cup. Next, I'm dicing three celery stalks, which equal about one cup. And I'm dicing one pound of red potatoes. Next, turn the Instant Pot to saute and add in some avocado oil and let that heat up. Once the oil is heated, you can add your onions, carrots, celery, cook until the onions are soft, and then add in your garlic. And again, cook, stirring constantly until fragrant. So this is about 30 seconds to a minute. Next, add in your potatoes. Two large chicken breasts that are cut into bite-sized pieces. Two cups of chicken broth. one and a half teaspoons dried sage, and two tablespoons of fresh thyme leaves. Now it's time to cook, so put the lid on the Instant Pot and set the valve to the sealing position. And cook on manual high pressure for 10 minutes. While the soup is cooking, you're going to add one cup of full fat canned coconut cream or milk and one cup of cashews to a high speed blender. But you're gonna blend the coconut milk and the cashews until very, very smooth. Also, while the soup was cooking, I made this artisan bread from the brand Simple Mills. This brand has really tasty but super clean ingredient baking mixes, crackers, cookies. So I love using all their products. And today, like I said, I'm making this artisan bread and I'm gonna be keeping this stuff in my pantry because it's really tasty and it paired really well with this paleo soup. Once the time is up on the Instant Pot, you're gonna do a quick release and then stir in the coconut cashew mixture and add salt and freshly cracked black pepper to taste. And that is it. The next recipe that we're making is Instant Pot Cashew Chicken. The first thing that I did was prep the chicken. I have two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts and I cut them into about one inch pieces. Next, it's time to make the sauce and I combined one tablespoon of sesame oil, a half a cup of coconut aminos, three tablespoons of ketchup, three tablespoons of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of coconut sugar. The recipe called for one tablespoon of honey, but I only had maple syrup and that tasted just fine. One tablespoon of minced garlic,
one tablespoon of minced ginger, one half teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder. So I couldn't find any Chinese five spice in any of my grocery stores. So I had some of the ingredients on hand. I didn't have clove and fennel on hand, but I did have those as essential oils. So for this recipe, I used my Young Living essential oils in the Vitality line, which means that they have a white label, which specifies that they are safe to ingest. And you could actually taste them. So using essential oils in cooking actually works. Next, it is time to prep the chicken. So in a bowl or a bag, you put the chicken pieces in with one tablespoon of arrowroot flour, some salt, and some pepper. Next, turn the Instant Pot to saute and add in about a tablespoon of sesame oil and let that heat through. Once the oil is heated, add the chicken and sear on all sides for about one to two minutes. Once the chicken is seared, you can press cancel on the Instant Pot and pour the sauce into the Instant Pot. Stir everything around with the chicken to evenly distribute it, and then you're gonna put the lid on the pot, set the valve to sealing, and cook for about 10 minutes. Right before the Instant Pot is done, you're gonna combine one tablespoon of arrowroot flour with two tablespoons of water. And once the Instant Pot is done, you're gonna do a quick release and then open the lid and then turn on the saute button and pour the water flour mixture into the Instant Pot and then you're gonna whisk all of that into the sauce. Next, add in the cashews and continue stirring for about one to two minutes or until the sauce is as thick as you'd like it to be. I chose to serve this cashew chicken over cauliflower rice and it tasted so good. But you could also serve it over broccoli, over spaghetti squash, um, and then you can garnish with additional cashews, green onion, or sesame seeds. This recipe is for Zeppa Toscana soup. It's kind of like a copycat recipe of the soup that's at Olive Garden. So this recipe actually Andrew cooked and filmed. I was out this night, so he cooked us dinner. The first thing to do is to prep your veggies. So Andrew has washed the kale and potatoes, and now he is chopping up three cups of kale, as well as dicing four cups of red potatoes. Next, he's chopping one half cup of white onion, and he's mincing one tablespoon of garlic. Moving on to cooking, turn your Instant Pot to saute, and to the pot, add two tablespoons of avocado oil and let that heat up. Next, Andrew is decasing one pound of mild sausage. We use mild sausage in this recipe, but we thought that spicy sausage might actually taste really good. Once the oil is heated, add the sausage to the pot and cook until all of the sausage is browned. When the sausage is almost cooked through, then you're gonna add in the onion and the garlic and saute it for about three more minutes. Once the veggies and the meat are all cooked, you're gonna turn off saute mode and add in six cups of chicken broth. the diced potatoes, and about one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Next, place the lid on the Instant Pot and make sure that the nozzle is set to seal. Turn the Instant Pot to pressure cook on high for 10 minutes. The last thing that you're gonna do is add in one half cup of canned coconut cream 
and the kale and give everything a good stir. And then the last thing to do is divide the soup into bowls. You can top it with parsley, red pepper flakes is really good, and that is it. The last recipe for today is Instant Pot Smothered Pork Chops, and it was so good. So what I did is I sliced 2 thirds cup of mushrooms, I minced two cloves of garlic and I chopped two slices of uncooked bacon. The next thing I did is I set the Instant Pot to saute and I added in about one and a half tablespoons of avocado oil. While the oil was heating, I seasoned the pork chops. These are bone-in pork chops. And I sprinkled each side of the pork chops with thyme, salt, and pepper. Once the oil was heated through, I added in three pork chops at a time and I seared the pork chops on both sides for about two to three minutes just to brown the sides. Once they were seared, I removed them from the pot and I added in the other three pork chops and did the exact same. And then I removed all of the pork chops and set them aside on a plate. While the pot is still hot, I added in the chopped bacon, minced garlic, and sliced mushrooms to the pot and I sauteed them all for about three to four minutes until the garlic had softened and the bacon started to brown. Next, I added in the one cup of beef broth to the Instant Pot and I scraped the bottom of the pot to deglaze. Next, add in one half of a teaspoon onion powder and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Stir that in and you can go ahead and press cancel to turn off the saute mode. Next, add in your pork chops back to the pot. Secure and lock the lid, turning the pressure release handle to sealing. Next, you're gonna select pressure cook on high and set the timer for about 10 minutes. Once the cooking time is done, then you're going to let the Instant Pot naturally release for about 10 minutes. And then you can go ahead and quick release the remaining pressure. Once that's done, open the lid and remove only the pork chops and you can go ahead and cover them to keep them warm. But you're gonna leave the mushrooms, bacon, and sauce in the pot and turn the pot to saute mode. Next, add in the coconut milk and stir. And you can go ahead and continue to heat that to reduce it just a little bit. Next is time to plate the pork chops and then you can pour the mushroom bacon sauce over the top of them. How we served them was we put some mashed potatoes at the bottom of the plate then put the pork chops on top of the mashed potatoes and poured the mushroom bacon sauce over everything. And it was kind of like pork chops and mashed potatoes with gravy, so good. You can also garnish with fresh thyme or fresh parsley. And guys, this one was super easy and super tasty. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this. If you guys wanna see more Instant Pot recipe videos, then let me know in the comments down below. Also, like I said, you can find all of these recipes linked in the description box. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel already, then go ahead and do that. And follow us on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch. All right, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.